Have you ever crammed for a project at the last minute? Do you remember how stressful that was? Do you have an assignment that was due over a month and you completed it just at the last moment with a lot of stress and fatigue? We all have gone through those moments. If we examine our daily routines, we will find ourselves allocating more time than necessary to our tasks. We feel that if we have buffer time, we'd be more comfortable figuring things out, especially for tasks that we don't know how long it will take. But in reality, we tend to inflate that buffer so much that the tendency for us is to stretch it out to the task to match the length of time we assign ourselves to do it. Oftentimes, we come to realize that the amount of time it takes is far lesser than what we would have estimated. This is what Parkinson's law is about. In 1995 essay, British historian and author Cyril Northcote Parkinson shared his talking observation on the bureaucracy that he witnessed while working in the British civil service. He said, Work expands to fill the time available for its completion. We treat work, especially knowledge information and knowledge-based work, as something elastic and we stretch it out to match the time allocated for it to be done. This, we believe, is partly because of how we are wired to believe that the more time we work on something, the more hard-working we become. When people are given more time to finish a task, they will most likely take advantage of that time. Sometimes they rework on it unnecessarily and overcomplicate things which make it worse. But the truth is, working longer on something does not equate to working harder on it. Working hard should equate to working smarter and more efficiently. And working smart means you can do more in less time. If we treat every task and subject it to Parkinson's law, we can assess just how much time is enough to complete the task instead of overinflating it and letting our productivity suffer. How to increase your productivity by using Parkinson's law. Parkinson's law gives us a different lens on which to examine our tasks. Knowing our ability to procrastinate and overinflate our task time, estimates should lead us to rethink how we plan our work. Here are some tips on how you could improve your productivity and maximize your time and energy using the Parkinson's law. Set your own deadline. If you have an assignment that you need to submit in a week, but you estimate it takes you only about four hours to do it, then do it in four hours. If you are given a task with a specific deadline, set your artificial deadline. Setting your own deadline conditions, your mind focuses and pushes you to do everything you need to do so that your deadlines are met. Remember though, that while you accomplish your work faster, the quality should not suffer. Track your time. If you need more convincing about how much time a task would really take, let the data do the talking. By tracking the time you spend on your task, you are gaining data that you can use to estimate future work tasks. You can become more predictable in planning your schedules and meeting deadlines. Avoid trying to use your smartphone's timer app because you might get tempted to answer message notifications or scroll through your social media feeds. Eliminate time wasters. The reason most of us think longer than necessary to finish our tasks is because we are distracted. There are a bunch of time wasters and distractions that are easily accessible when we work. There's your email inbox, your smartphone, your social media feed, a cluttered work desk, or a quick trip to the pantry, or catching up with your friends. To stay focused, you need to eliminate or reduce all possible sources of distraction. Lastly, use time to get advantage and get more work done. Proper time management is crucial to maintaining peak productivity. The more you are aware of how much time a task really takes, the better you are at planning and getting your tasks done. Parkinson's law reminds us that time we spend on our work is our choice. We can either time it or drag it or choose to roll up our sleeves and get work done. Productivity is a mindset game. Instead of thinking how much time you have to accomplish a task, you need to think about how much time you need instead. Adapting this mindset will make a big difference the next time you plan for and execute your task. You'll find that you can get more work done in less time and be happier as you realize just how much productive you can get. 
Do subscribe to our channel for more content.